Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. It's been a while. I've been uh, kind of focusing in other areas and I haven't been using cast iron a lot. Uh, I'm doing a lot of cooking this summer. Basically eggs and things like that that you've seen before. But I'm going to make some waffles and in the keto world they're called chaffles or chaffles, chaffles because they're primarily eggs and cheese and I bought a a dash machine this is a mini waffle maker and I find it's much easier to use than cast iron at least because I have a glass cooktop which you can't even see right now and I have let's go over here I've got a waffle iron here I haven't used in a long time just because it's easier for me to make my keto uh, waffles in here and they actually are delicious and I'm going to show you how I make them and they're like a Lego Ego or whatever you want to call those um, waffles that you buy in the frozen section at your grocery store. So I'm going to show you what we're going to use. We're going to use eggs at room temperature. And my hack on that is just to kind of warm them up in water first. So we're going to use two eggs. And we're going to use a, and I'm going to make four waffles. So I'm going to go get the other ingredients, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, we're going to uh, pair the waffles with bacon. And instead of using cast iron on days when I'm kind of in a rush to make something, this is a quick, quick breakfast, or we usually eat breakfast for lunch. But anyway, um, for those of you that have Costco, we get the fully cooked bacon. It's hickory wood smoke, microwavable. Uh, a little bit more expensive, but you get about 50 slices in here. So I'm going to make us uh, six slices for breakfast. And they layer it in here, so I'm going to use that over. I'm going to stick it in the microwave for about 60 seconds. And I want to show you my ingredients over here. And also the dash chaffle or waffle maker. We're going to go ahead and heat it. It'll take about four or five minutes to heat up. So I'm going to put the bacon in the microwave, and I'm going to show you how I'll be back, and I'll show you how to make the chaffle. Okay, I'm back again. So for this recipe, and this makes two servings. Two serving would be two chaffles or two waffles. Um, a cup of shredded mozzarella. Cheese. We're going to put that in. One tablespoon of lupin flour. It's made from the lupin bean. Very high fiber and nutritious flour. The brand I like to use is from, Am I buy it at Amazon, but you can get it at other places. It's non-GMO. It's gluten-free. For those of you that are sensitive to gluten, I am. So I like to use this. It's very low carb uh, for a quarter of a cup. It's 12 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fiber, so only one net carb per quarter cup. I'm only using uh, two, of, two tablespoons, so we're going to go ahead and dump it in. And I'm going to sift it, because sometimes it's been sitting in the uh, pantry. And if you sift it like this, I'm going to put the camera down, and you can kind of watch me as I do this. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't made a video in a while. I'm a little out of practice. So we're going to just crush it down. Make sure all the lumps are out. And the next thing we're going to do is add a half a teaspoon. It's a quarter teaspoon per two waffles, but a half a teaspoon uh, for four. I'm going to put that in there. I'm also going to sift that. And that makes everything a lot easier. We're going to add in our cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. This shredded mozzarella cheese has only one carb per quarter cup so it's very very low then we're going to I gotta grab a fork we're gonna mix this mix it up just mix the dry ingredients together 
like so. Get it all there. Then we're going to add in two eggs at room temperature, like so. And there we go. And we're going to add one half teaspoon. Again, it's one quarter teaspoon per every two waffles. I, I can put the recipe below. And you may want to try this in your regular cast iron wafer makers. Uh, but for me, I just feel it's easier to use my uh, one on the countertop without cast iron. Uh, keto takes a lot of time uh, to bake a lot of the recipes. So I just use for time savers, use, you know, equipment to save time. And when I find it necessary to use cast iron, I use it like to do uh, pork chops and things of that nature, or do hamburgers, that kind of thing. And now I'm just going to mix that really, really good. Get a really good mix there. So we only have five ingredients. You have your cheese, your eggs, your lupin, lupina, by lupina flour. Um, no wheat flour in here whatsoever. Very low carbohydrate. So for every two waffles, it only has about, I think, only 2.8 carbs. So we're making this for our breakfast. And move the uh, camera over here. And now it's, you can see it's uh, all ready to go. The green light is on. And we're going to put in And you don't even need to spray this with spray. This waffle iron has enough fat in here from the actual ingredients, eggs and so forth, and the cheese. We're just going to make four equal. And this will fill out quite nicely. It'll take about four minutes or so in the dash. Uh, waffle maker. I got this at Amazon. It was like 50 bucks. Been a great investment. I've used it so often. You can make different flavor of uh, waffles in here. You can make ones to use for sandwich buns uh, that have, they don't have, you know, the vanilla that I put in here. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and, and cook those. And we're going to be back when the green button comes on, about four or five minutes from now. The little bit longer that you cook these, the crispier they become. And I'll show you what the whole breakfast looks like uh, with the bacon. And I put on um, low carb. Okay, guys, I'm back. It looks like we're done here. Oh, these look beautiful. And they're nice and sweet. You can smell them in the kitchen. So I'm going to have two for myself. I'm going to give hubby one. Just peel them up. They come right out. And I'm going to go ahead and lift them with my fingers. And this one here, just leave on here. Actually, I'll give hubby. is isn't, isn't as hungry today, so we'll give him one. And give him two. And they have over, this thing has an overflow a channel uh, for these and it makes it really nice because it catches any extra batter that you may have so anyway I'm gonna unplug it <laughs> let it cool off and we're going to prepare these um, add some syrup and butter and this is a carb very low carb extra creamy ready whip it adds fat to the meal and the secret to keto is the more quality fat that you use at your meal you can go longer uh, without eating anything or without being hungry. That's beautiful. So anyway, I'm going to show you what this looks like with the bacon when we're all done. I will be back. Okay, guys. I went ahead and put butter on this. The next thing I'm going to do is add my Walden Farms. Zero calorie, zero sugar pancake syrup. This stuff is the best. It's not cheap. But if you're trying to get off sugar, it, it will fill in for a savory or a sweet treat once in a while. And this is a nutritious breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the top. 
could, you could use Swerve, uh, sugar-free powdered uh, sugar. It's not sugar, but anyway, that's what this looks like. I've got my bacon here ready to go. It's nice and crispy. You can... This is what it looks like. Delicious. And I'm going to head take a bite. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. I love this. It's my, one of my favorite breakfasts. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I've been away for a while. Just summertime, I get busy. And I'm golfing a lot, doing other things. But I wanted to at least let you know I'm still here. I hope you all been well. We've been good. And uh, anyway, you guys, I have the recipe linked or the recipe listed below on how to make these. You can try them in your waffle iron, your cast iron waffle irons, or get a dash. I'll leave the link to the ingredients I used in case you want to try this. This is just just super delicious, and I wanted to share. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumb up. Thank you for if you've gotten this far in the video. Leave a comment or question below. And go make it a great day.